You're listening to Life and Shit. I'm Danielle Walker. And I'm Tommy Walker. Join us as we talk about our journey overcoming fears, boundaries, marriage, family, lifestyle, business, and whatever other shit you can think of. We're individuals that came together to create one unit with one mind and one goal. What's up, baby? What's going on? It's been a minute. I know. Feels like it. That's like uh, <laughs> I think I think we're on episode sixty four. Yes. That's yes. Super dope. Yes. I feel like we just walked into like our second season or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> second season, yeah. yeah. Or it feels like we had a break or something, right? Like yeah. it was time off, and now we're back. Yeah, we came back with vengeance. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we got knocked the cobwebs off of us. Oh, shit. That's, that's too funny. <laughs> we only have one missing uh, episode, so people don't really see that we were gone like that. Oh uh, no, two weeks. We was, oh, was it two weeks? Yeah, oh it's, it's, shit, it's we been are fourteen really days. Like, okay. All right, yeah, y'all, but, we back. But we back at it, and we free, we Dang, freestyle. And we just go t- talk about the last few weeks. And uh, but first, we're gonna talk about this wine we got on the table. Yes. So so we didn't know that James Harden had a wine. No, it was gifted to us. It was gifted Thank to you, us. Felicia. Yeah, shout out to Felicia and Terrell. Um, and and really, so I was hanging out with them today at the cafe. Okay, that's cool. And and we didn't have any plans on on opening up the bottle, but it just so happened. So <laughs> so we opened the bottle today. I was hanging out with Felicia and Terrell at the cafe today. So shout out to Felicia again. Thank you for this gift. Uh, so Felicia came through uh, because we drink red wine on the show, mm-hmm. and you know, she was like, "Hey, I think you guys might like this." So he's like, "All right, cool." So James Harden decides he wants to get into the wine world. Mm-hmm. Right. And uh, it's funny because they said that when you read the, the, the comments about it, it said it's just like him. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> the, the wine is like his personality. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's that's a, really cool. So, so, so it doesn't tell you a lot about it. But shout out to James Harden. Um, he has uh, two wines on the market right now. He has a Cabernet and a red wine. And uh, it's very smooth. Like it, it's a smooth. Uh, like if you were a new wine drinker, I yes. think this would be something that you could definitely you know, I try agree. out. I do agree. Um, Jay Harden is the name of the wine. I was like, oh, this is very simple. And it's, uh, it's got one of those uh, fruity tastes to it. Mm. Uh, so it's not too too rich, not too earthy, not, not too full flavored or full bodied. Um, but it's, it's a nice, nice wine that you can drink, maybe even chilled if you want to drink it chilled. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think if you chill it, It'd be, that'd be a, and it's something that you could drink all the time too. It's like yeah. it's like it's not that you know, oh I can't drink it. Nah, you can drink this anytime. So again, shout out to James Harden, shout out to Felicia for for hooking us up, and uh, you. So James Harden partnered up with Jay Shed. They created this wine, you know. So it was it was hard to find it, you know, from from looking it up. And then I was like, oh shit, there it goes. But, <laughs> but you could you could find it on you know any app, you know, you get on Instacart, Drizzly, like all all those cool stuff, um, and, and 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 try it out. So uh, if you if you follow life and shit, you got to try out all the wines that we have on here. So from mm-hmm. from from Jay Harden to Alto Piano, yes. you know, we had uh, Longevity, you know, Longevity all the different was wines a really that good we, one too. yeah. So so definitely try those Alto out. Alto Piano is one and, of my favorites. And if you do try it out, make sure you hit a. a uh, tag us in it because we want to you know we want to see that you know tag us in it at life and shit on instagram and uh and we'll definitely shout you out on that yes we will all right so what you want to talk about today what else has been going on a lot oh the cafe has been open for almost two months now mm-hmm. um actually it is two months to in three days yeah so uh, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're two months into the cafe um you know and I'm going to be honest with y'all, you know, we've had multiple businesses before, um, but not like this, mm. but, you know, like we're, we're run, when you run multiple businesses with multiple employees at the scale that we're doing it, mm-hmm. man, like some days I don't even remember. Yeah. It's, it's, they all start to kind of blend in and you just want to make sure you remember everything and everybody and everything that you promised to people. And that's how I know my, my days are, it's just like, okay, what did I say I was going to do this, 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 oh yeah. And this and this and that, and which, where, where am I supposed to be at? <laughs> a thousand percent. And so, so people ask us a lot. They, they say, yo, how do you do it? Right. How do you run a cafe? Um, you know, uh, uh, for those that don't know, the mental bar is open, the retail store it's in Southeast San Diego. Yes. Um, so, 
that's and the one. e-commerce and then the e-commerce and that's another mental business bar. Com. yeah so the mentalbar.com is a totally another business and e-commerce mm-hmm. is a different world because what you see on our website is not what you see inside the store that's true um and then you know and we still run in our transportation company and 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 we have multiple divisions in the transportation uh side as well and and we have over uh 90 employees over there mm-hmm. um so total over 100 employees um in our in our care so when people say you how do you do it you know the first thing that always comes to my mind is I don't I, I always say I don't know if mm-hmm. we just do it right right but there is a system right there is like we do like we have meetings you and I meet a mm-hmm. lot yeah um, and then we do have systems in place we mm-hmm. have solid team members in place but mm-hmm. how just for people to understand like when you schedule and when you plan mm-hmm. your day what does what, what does that look like as far as your week goes like what kind of tools are you using to stay on point to stay you know stay on track to make sure that we ain't dropping the ball on a lot of things because you mm. you know as as the the coo of of all the companies and hr and everything else that you do and mm-hmm. marketing and social media and <laughs> yeah I, I could keep going on and on and on with the ants right 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 <laughs> yeah um i i definitely use uh trello which is an app that keeps me organized um evernote i'm getting into now um keeps all my uh to-do list proper um but Apple to do list as well, and then notes in Apple as well, and it's like steadily, steadily having a to do list, right? And just knocking those things off the list as they come up. Um, and Trello, the, my Trello boards are uh, those are my. I mean, without them, I don't know what I would do. It, they, they keep me organized. <laughs> um, I probably have over twenty. Trello boards, um, mm-hmm. and um, I have, I have uh, Trello boards with employees, and and together we have probably like three. So like they'll have their own Trello board, then we have a one on one Trello board, and then we have another Trello board that kind of tracks what they do on the day to day. So so for those that don't know, Trello is a project management software, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. right? And when we got introduced to it, we fell in love with it immediately. Mm-hmm. And and Danielle has taken Trello to the next level, like like. Like we even have our, uh, like on the HR side of the transportation, you have graphs and, and you know, KPIs yes. within Trello to see how we're doing from a recruiting standpoint. Yes, it, it keeps track. It's, uh, within Trello, there's these different functions and like uh, charge ups that you can do that can help you. Um, you can put your calendar, connect your calendar to it. Um, there's just, it's so much in there. Um, and it, it, now that we, now we've got it so that it's dialed in so that we can send off tasks. So when it's, uh, it, whenever it comes to somebody's um, time to do a task and they get a little note and they mm. just dive in and then they just take care of their task so it's pretty smooth yeah, and, and and for those of it because they said i got 20 boards like legit it's when you open trello there's <laughs> there's boards and then in, in those boards there's cards and then mm-hmm. those cards is how you keep track and you move cards you know accordingly yes. uh, as far as a project management flow goes yeah so that's that's how so you said evernote trello and then, of course, you know, you got to do list to to do lists. You got, ta- you know, different lists yes. that you use. I'm the same way. I, I don't use Trello as much as you do. Mm-hmm. I, I use Trello as a partner because mm-hmm. you'll hit me with something. <laughs> <laughs> me, I'm, I'm old school. And I, actually, I was supposed to text you today with all the things that I needed you to do. Uh, I was, I was going to say, like, hey, these are the five rocks <laughs> that I have for you for this week. I need these done before Wednesday. Oh, <laughs> so uh, be on the lookout for that. I still, I still got those rocks. <laughs> Now, for me, um, you know, other than using Trello, because the team uses Trello, like mm-hmm. especially in the cafe, that's how we talk to the team and we do updates because, you know, it goes out to everybody. Right. Like when we have mass updates and we want to make sure everybody's on the same page and everybody gets the same message. Mm-hmm. That's how it works. And when you when you're running businesses or if you're running, you know, whatever that it is and you want everybody to get the message at one time and you want to make sure the message is clear you got to have different you know software and platforms like that that you could you could you know get everybody in mm-hmm. emails is kind of one of those old school things but you know people don't really read all of their emails yeah that's true oh they half-ass it they'd be like yeah. you'd be like yo it was in the email you're like oh i missed that part yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> i didn't get kinda, to the bottom kind of just skim through it that's yeah true. a thousand that's percent true. and and i'm a big advocate of evernote so uh ever since evernote was introduced to me mm-hmm. that's my my main thing i use that for writing notes, taking notes, um, thoughts, ideas, calendar, to-do lists, everything. And then I can assign 
Evernote tasks to our office managers. So, mm-hmm. and then she puts things on my calendar. So, so this is how we stay organized. Like if, if you're looking on how to stay organized, how do you run multiple companies? How do you, you know, how there is no school. We always say this, there's no school for this stuff. Mm-hmm. So it's just really just sitting down and having ideas, having conversations with people and, and asking questions. How do you say, cause, cause believe me, the shit, Staying organized is fucking hard. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and then you organize yourself, and then doing what you organized yourself to do is another th- whole other thing, right? A thousand percent. <laughs> and then, and then, so yeah, you have this day set up, right? And then all of a sudden, the day doesn't go according to plan. Right. And I hear that for a lot of entrepreneurs or a lot of people that's just like, oh well, the day didn't go the way I wanted, so there. Then I went and started doing some other stuff. Mm-hmm. I get that. That happens to us a lot. But but was that a money making item that thing? Yeah, you know, was it that important that right. you had to drop the entire day mm-hmm. to focus on that? True. And that's kind of how we got into, we get into trouble. You know what I mean? And if you're self employed, specifically if you're self employed, because self employed, and the reason why I say that is it take you have to work. Mm-hmm. You have to do mm-hmm. those money making items. Otherwise, you won't make any money. Or you ain't gonna make any money. <laughs> so like, if you're a real estate agent, and you're not making phone calls, and it was a part of your your schedule. And you was like, oh, well, I had to go do this for the client. It's like, well, if that client's already in the money making list, you already made it. Then mm-hmm. you got to you got to make sure you stay focused. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. And 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 how do you <laughs> so on top of all of these systems, you also have weekly meetings. How do how mm-hmm. do that go? Uh, my weekly meetings are well within the they're they're governed by my trello boards of course right so <laughs> i have one-on-one uh trello boards with every person that i have meetings with right so um from my office manager to hr um social media recruiters um and uh office manager um those are all pretty much every, my monday uh, monday is all day meeting day um and i prepare by setting it up in the trello so by the time we have our meeting they just go to the trello and then they see everything that's there mm. um, and they know what I'm going to talk about so it has my items and then it has things that they want to talk about so you set um, the agenda up in Trello already yeah yeah so they see it so I put the date and the meeting so they know like okay boom this is what she's going to talk about um, my the, the ones that are really really good they um, they'll log in and they'll put whatever they they're like whatever before the meeting they already have their little notes in there so it's like oh okay cool so when the meeting starts it's basically we're just reviewing everything uh, and it's nice. basically just like a okay so you did take care of that perfect this this that you know what i mean and then there's a whole nother type of a board if they have any issues or like anything that they need to just discuss with me um then we'll discuss things so your meetings are on purpose yeah very very on purpose and yes do, do your meetings stay within a certain time frame that you have a schedule for Yes, uh, they're an hour um, each, and I would prefer for them to be less than an hour, <laughs> <laughs> um, at all, if at all possible. Uh, but in a matter of respecting both their time and my time, I keep it as an hour. Um, sometimes it will tend to go towards a little longer, but uh, I just say, okay, it, we're coming to an end now. Yeah, you know, let's, so let's, let's wrap it up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, 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 do you find that productive? Like, are you getting results when you meet with people one on one like that, and you hold them to that sixty minutes, and then you mm-hmm. already have the agenda and you have the items? So, like. That's a lot of work that you put in before the meeting even happens. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. Um, and yeah, it, it it it's it works because it holds them accountable. It holds me accountable. Um, and then we, I know what's going on in my business for the the week, mm. right? So I know what people are working on. Um, so I'm not going crazy thinking like, okay, so uh, like, how come this isn't getting done, or how come that's not getting done, or you know, it's like I, I know these are the things that they're going to be working on all week long, and I know that's going to get done. And they know that the next Monday we sit and talk, and I'm going to say like, what the fuck if it didn't happen, right? What's the results? Mm-hmm. That's pretty dope. So, so, so you got action items. And how long does it take for you to prepare for the meeting then, for this sixty-minute meeting? Uh, it depends. Um, I say I pretty much depend. Um, I I pretty much prepare for it throughout the week. Um, because there's different items that come up, and then I'll just throw it on the Trello board. Um, because I know that I'm going to want to talk about it. Um, so if like something comes up, it's like all right, I know we're going to want to discuss this further. So I'll put it on there. Um, for each person, it's a little it's a little bit different. Uh, for social media, that that requires a lot more prep time. Mm. Um, just because I have to do research and look at things and um, actually 
full thing so that, that takes more so i guess it just depends um on the person and on i guess the department as well so if it's a uh like hr hr um I don't have to prepare too much for it because I have kind of the same thing that we kind of go through. Um, and like she'll put in her items as well. So it's not as bad. Uh, but social media is a lot. There's a lot of questions and a lot of things that we have to go through. So it's that a little different. Sign. Yeah. So you and and you work seven days a week. Mm -hmm. You're OK with that? Yes, I'm OK as long as I don't work. Uh, seven days a week, 12 hours a day. Um, I need to have, uh, I know for a fact that after 10 hours, uh, I'm tapped. Mm. Um, and after five days of 10 hours straight, I'm really tapped. <laughs> um, so I don't mind working early um, and getting off early. So as long as I'm off by, I say by one, but that's not really realistic because mm -hmm. I have to eat and that, that hour lunch, it really, I mean, I have to eat, right? Um, but I'd rather work and eat. <laughs> Sometimes, or sometimes we have to eat. <laughs> Whether or not we eat is 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 the question. Yeah, it's like I'd rather eat at the end of the day when it's all over. You know, like yeah. okay, now I'm, I'm ready to eat. You know, but what happens is you know don't I start get a headache or whatever. So, um, but yeah, no, I I don't mind as long as I'm off at a at a a good time where I could at least kind of relax and at the end of it like i don't want to talk business anymore i just want to chill um, yeah. and maybe even watch something that's mindless or um i i haven't and I, I know you're really really good about studying or um like once the work is done then you're like okay now i'm gonna work on me um but geez lately i've just been like man, i just want to like kind of numb out like just kind of <laughs> <laughs> potato couch it or something you know what i mean like yeah. watch something very very funny and that requires absolutely no thought <laughs> I, I can understand that because because we we had some some pretty big rocks that we just crushed mm -hmm. and and when you have rocks you know and, and and when i say rocks so this is the way danielle and i talk when when we have big issues or big just items whatever it is that's huge that we need to conquer in order to move to the you know to the next step we call those rocks. Right. So, huge goals. Yeah, there's just huge goals or, or huge just, just issues, things, obstacles, whatever. It could be anything. A rock could be anything. doesn't mean it's a problem. It, it could be a good thing. Like right. if you, once you crush it, it's like, yes, we did it. This is going to take take us to the next echelon. Mm -hmm. So so whenever we have these rocks, and they're usually 30, 60, 90-day rocks, so it takes us that long to to get over that rock or you know solve that, that issue. So – when you work on your rocks, those are the things that's going to take your business to the next step. And that's that's what we talk about. That's kind of the conversations that we have. It's like, all right, what kind of rocks are you working on? And, you know, what have you done this week that are literally geared towards those rocks? Right. right. And the whole team is talking like that, too. And yeah. That's the cool thing. Yeah. Uh, so so that's that's pretty dope. And it is funny because we have a culture. We have one culture at the transportation company. And then we have a different culture in the, the cafe. cafe right so we have like that starfish culture at the cafe and we have uh a, a, you know basically a your, your typical hierarchy mm -hmm. in the transportation world true and and you know it just it, it just has to happen that way for yeah. now right in order for it to run yeah for now until you know until we run in multiple cafes and then the starfish might not work yeah, right? true, true, <laughs> and for true. those that don't know what the starfish is you know you know hit me up um you know and 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 we could talk about that uh because you know coaching and consulting is is one of the things that i love i love mm -hmm. coaching i love consulting so we could definitely talk about those things now we talked about uh how to stay organized and working seven days a week now is this typical for every entrepreneur no, absolutely mm -hmm. not. We got friends that work three days a week. Yeah, you know, we, we got that's friends true. that don't, work, don't yeah. work at all. <laughs> <laughs> but they also have been running their businesses for a significant amount of time. And I'm and, and when I say significant, I'm saying longer than five, seven years. For us, we've been in business like the way we're doing, operating for three years, a little over three years mm -hmm. now. So that's why we're still in it seven days a week. That's why we're so involved, why you're still doing one-on-one -on -one meetings with the team and, and, and looking at uh, KPIs and things like that. Mm -hmm. For those that are trying to organize their lives, you know, it, it's not going to happen overnight. Like you're not going to have this, this, this system that just works magically to where you could work, you know, Oh, I don't want to work seven days a week. Sometimes you have to, mm -hmm. especially to get the results that you want, mm -hmm. especially to get your business to the next level. But it's only temporary, you know, it's, it's temporary as long as you got some rocks that you're moving out of the way. Mm, makes sense. You know, so so we're three years in 
in reality, I keep telling Danielle, like, give me six more months. And she keeps shaking her head. Like you said, six months last time. Mm. <laughs> so now I'm, I'm legit. Like, give me a good solid two and a half years and, and you won't have to work seven days a week anymore. <laughs> you believe me on that one? Uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. You said we got through some uh, big rocks. Um, and uh, I, I think one of the reasons why we were able to crush uh, those big rocks is because we went, um, we did a bit of a fast, um, not even a bit of a fast. It was a crazy fast. It was a week long um, fast and it was uh, five for, days. It wasn't a full week, five days. Oh, shoot. That Sunday, was long Sunday, enough for me. Sunday now. to Thursday. And we started on the Sunday and um, I, I totally hadn't anticipated starting it on a Sunday. Um, I was ready to start on a Monday and um, <laughs> I you, was ready to go never, to the farmer's market and up. get my tastings hold on. Hold on. <laughs> if you've never seen Danielle be distraught, like she was so fucking distraught oh when I gosh. said we're starting to fast on yeah, Sunday. <laughs> I was mad. I was mad like, literally the whole day. He's like, you don't have to do. I know I don't have to do it yeah. on today. I don't have to do it anytime. I don't have to fucking do it if I don't want to do it, period. OK, <laughs> I don't want to do it on Sunday. I I want to do it on Monday because that's what I had planned. And he woke up on Sunday morning. He's like, oh, I want to do it on Sunday. Like it starts today. And I'm like, no, it doesn't. And he's like, okay. So, and then I was thinking, okay, I'm not going to do it today. I'm going to wait and I'm going to do it tomorrow. Like I planned. And then I thought about Friday and Friday would be when you would be like, I'm going to drink. I'm going to do <laughs> yeah, I'm going to happy hour. I'm going to take myself to dinner. I'm like, <laughs> damn it. You know? So I, I did it on the, on the, on the Sunday too. Um, and it, it wasn't, it wasn't that bad the first couple of days. Uh, so the, the, the fast is basically this box that we have, right? Mm -hmm. Um, pro, proton, prolong, prolong. And um, uh, everything that we eat is in the box and everything is kind of like a mix with water and all natural and all veggie, um, no meat, uh, no alcohol or anything like you that. You, you making it seem like it wasn't that bad. It was only soup. That it was, was a, it. It was a powder. Yeah, I'm like, you have to mix it with water. It, yeah. was, it, it was. How is that making it sound like it's not bad? You said Everything was, was in a box. You said it was all veggie. Dehydrated like, veggies. Like there was no veggies. Mm -hmm. was, yeah, they were dehydrated. <laughs> so, so for for my veterans out there that know what an MRE is like, it was it was worse than an MRE. Hey, what sucks is I know what an MRE is because <laughs> I lived with a. Uh, was he a veteran? Oh, no, he was still active in the military. Our stepdad, not, we used to have that uh, dehydrated milk and no, he all was that reserve. stuff. He oh, was yeah, he was yeah. Reserve. I was like, he wasn't active. Not y'all was living in Gary, Indiana. He wasn't active. Okay, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. He was reserve. He was a weekend warrior. <laughs> well, he brought that shit on for us to eat, and it was horrible. <laughs> and that's exactly what it brought me back to. Yeah, um, but it wasn't that bad. It wasn't the soup wasn't that bad the first uh, i say three four days uh the fourth day that's when i was just like guess what I, at that point literally i was so tired of the same soup that i would prefer not to eat like the last day i didn't even eat the tomato soup i was like fuck this i'm not even eating this shit it's disgusting you don't like routines that's why yeah and i was like i'd rather be hungry so i was <laughs> I was literally hungry <laughs> like, i will drink <laughs> water and to be full it was horrible that last couple of days so it's, it's funny that you talk about the, the fast so it's a five day they call it a mimic fast uh because you you know fasting typically when you don't put nothing in your body right mm -hmm. just drink of water so it was no like you said it was no alcohol for us no no uh regular food mm -hmm. just the literally it was just the pills so you, you take some pills it was like omega-3 it was a dehydrated vegetable with minerals in it and then the soup and some tea mm -hmm. and, and crackers yeah lots of tea and lots of crackers <laughs> like, yeah lots of water and crackers mm -hmm. i mean and uh tea so the reason why we did that though we had to there were some areas of uh, of of just life and shit, right? Where mm -hmm. we were like, all right, we need clarity. We need to, it, it was, for me, it was how much uh, access do I have to all the different things that I do every single day? And, uh, and are these things becoming part of my habits? Is it becoming something that I'm I'm leaning on every <sighs> single day? Specifically, like drinking, like mm -hmm. if you drink every single day, you know, because you have access to it, it becomes a routine. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, it's an unconscious habit. So and then it's like, can you stop, you know, once yeah. the, the time happens? And drinking for us was, I mean, once we say we're going to stop, then we just stop. 
Exactly. And it's like okay. And that, and and now believe me, it ain't drinking like I don't want nobody to hit me. It's like, so are you okay? Like mm-hmm. it ain't like that. We just one or two drinks a night, mm-hmm. but it's one or two drinks every night, right? Yeah, so yeah. So, so so it's if it's you know today was a good day, cool. T- fuck, today was a long day, cool. Same thing, right? Mm-hmm. So now it was like all right. I need to stop drinking. I want to lose a few pounds. On top of that, we always, everybody wants to lose a few pounds. Yeah, always, yeah. right? I mean, mental clarity. And mental, then mental clarity, clarity was the thing. Yeah, because we had a lot of issues in the business, right? Mm-hmm. So, so on, on our businesses, we like, all right, how do we tackle a lot of these issues that we're having all, all, all at one time? Yeah, we had a lot of issues in our business and our relationship, to be honest, and. Um, and just period, you know. So I, I know I, I was able to see a lot of clarity um, within within it from every aspect of my life, to be quite honest. Um, this is not, we're not even a whole, uh, yeah, we're just one week off of it, off the fast. Hell no, we about to start next week. Oh, shit. So we're, <laughs> we're, we're, we're three weeks in. <laughs> so, so, so. <sighs> Our goal now is to do it once a month. <laughs> <laughs> Hence why I said goal, right? So I'm like, I feel like I'm fresh off. <laughs> yeah. So, so we're supposed to start it next Sunday. Oh, uh, oh all shit, over again, y'all. and and mm-hmm. another five days, mm-hmm. uh, and we'll you know tell you about the results from that. <laughs> but a thousand percent, you know, when you're looking for clarity, when there's when there's a lot of unanswered you know questions that you that you're going through. Uh, you know, defying the body and just really just killing down, killing out the body and and the 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 desires of the flesh, right? Mm-hmm. That's how you get to that clarity for the most part. For a lot of people, it works that way. For us, like you said, between relationship, business, and you know, just personal, mm-hmm. it was it was very welcoming and, and open. I was like, fuck, like, all right, I get it. Now, mind you, it's not like some shaman came down and talked to us. Like mm-hmm. it ain't, it's nothing like that. It's just that you have a level of focus and productivity that you don't have when you're too busy worried about what are you going to eat for breakfast? What I'm going to cook for dinner? Where am I going to go for lunch? Um, again, if you have a drink, it's all these different things that, right. that you have to worry about on a right. day-to-day and basis. Then, and then listen, if, I mean, if you're spiritual or if you've ever, I mean, we we come from more, I know I, I've come from a, a spiritual background um, and the flesh is weak, right? The mm-hmm. spirit is strong and that's the bottom line, right? So if you can, if you can attempt to get the flesh in line, um, then uh, other things come accordingly and with that, right? Um, so it's just one of those things it's like if you're able to tame tame it you know and say hey like you're not gonna get the dessert that you want you know because for me eating is a pleasure it's not really like I don't I don't just like eat to live like I love to eat like you know what I mean like I love food I really do Um, (laughs) and I mean I love to cook food I love different flavors um, I love desserts. Like I love rich foods. Um, I, I, I love it all. So, um, it, f- and I love wine and I love whiskey and, you know, like these are things that are all, <laughs> that are all delightful to my flesh. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, but they do, they do, um, bad things and wreak havoc on my, on my flesh as well, you know, and my mental, um, because it's like, if you eat certain foods, you know, you feel horrible, you drink too much, you feel like shit, you mm-hmm. know? So, yep. um, the, the flesh is wants to feel good though. So while you're eating, um, those foods, it's just like, this is so good, you know, or drinking. It's like, ah, another one, another one, you know, it's like you, you, we, we don't live, um, especially in our society, we don't live in a world where we deny ourselves much of anything anymore. Um, so even in doing this and, and telling people that we were doing it, people were like, I couldn't do that. I could never. Yeah, you, you could do it if you had to, you know what I mean? Um, but uh, just having the power to put your, your mind into the, a different, you know, frame. Um, and, and like I said, deny the flesh. That's a that's a that's a great way to put it. Um, like we said, when you got access, like we got mm-hmm. access, and and then once things become a routine, we don't think about it. Mm-hmm. it. It just becomes habitual, and and it really like it took us to say let's stop, yeah, mid like literally mid race, and yeah. just say all right, let's cut everything out. Five days, let's go hard in the paint, and 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 focus. 
And when you think and when you're trying to be productive, that's the best way. If you're feeling unproductive, if you're feeling confused, uh, that's one thing about me is I can't stand confusing, mm. confusion, like where, where there's confusion, there's chaos, where there's chaos, there's confusion. And both of those are are one and the same. Like cousins. Yeah, exactly. And and there's nothing good that comes out of that. So so if you're feeling confused, you're feeling undecided, you're feeling things are a little chaotic in your life. Just fucking stop. You know what I mean? Just stop everything. And, and think about the focus and what you can do to, to double down on that focus. And this was just the way that we did. So right. not, not anything that we're, of course, you know, you know me, I always say, you know, don't hold me. Don't, don't be like, oh, Tommy told me. Mm-hmm. Like, fuck that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. We're only sharing our experiences, right? This is mm-hmm. how we did it. And, and, and this is the results that we got from it. It was pretty fucking cool. Yeah, it was. It was. Um, in, in all of that, at the end of it, uh, one thing that really, really stuck with me is um, the, the good times and the good moments are golden, right? Those are golden. And when times are good, man, I, I'm, I'm just going to bask in that and enjoy it and live in it. And, and just it, like every single moment that I'm in that, I'm just going to just like relish it. Mm. Um, and know that there's a flip side, you know what I mean? And when that flip side comes, I'll always have that, that good time to remember. So that's, that's pretty dope. That's that living in that moment kind of yes. life. That makes me think, <laughs> I guess this is a final thought, right? <laughs> it makes me think um, tomorrow already made its decision, right? Mm-hmm. So so if whatever it is that you, you're trying to wait for tomorrow, it, it's already happening. Tomorrow mm-hmm. has, is already happening. And yesterday is not coming back for you. Mm-hmm. It's not like you can't go back to yesterday and say, oh, I wish I could or I wish I did. Mm-hmm. All you got is right now. This is real. This is it. So this is life and shit. Life and shit. I love you. Love you. <laughs> Do us a favor. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe. Leave a review. Let us know what your thoughts are. That's the only way that this show is going to be successful. And we appreciate you. Talk with you next time.